Early in the morning, I passed these wonderful flowers. The sign says 11.5 kilometers to my campsite. This was my trail in the morning. A lot of sunshine and white rays. Admittedly, there are better places for a break. At noon, the trail became narrow, wild and romantic. That's more my taste. That's a hill built by busy ants. What are you doing here? Good morning, dear hiking friends. It's the third day on the trail, uh, which is at last getting a little bit wilder. So I have left behind the white uh, race, I can say. It's, it's not a trail or the, the, the white uh, streets through open fields. Uh, which was interesting, but it was strenuous. Yeah, no shadow and uh, very hot sunshine. So I'm glad that I'm now in the woods, in the Black Forest, where it is very cool and uh, shady. My uh, action cam has given up. It does not cooperate anymore. So I must film with my old cell phone and uh, I have changed tactics a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm shooting more short video clips uh, while sitting or standing, and I will comment them later on in English and in German. So if you watch my uh, German uh, video, you can improve your German. Well, yeah, so I'm going to, yeah, what I've just said, I'm going to shoot uh, short clips while sitting and uh, uh, standing. I'm about six kilometers away from uh, Altensteig, where I have booked uh, uh, a place at a uh, camping site. I do not stealth camp due to the coronavirus. Uh, first of all, it's uh, not legal in Germany anyway. Many through hikers uh, do it, though. Uh, it's it's somehow tolerated uh, if you stealth camp. Uh, but uh, the animals do not know that uh, there is a pandemic, and this year and last summer there were so many hikers on the trail because they were not they could not go abroad on holidays yeah the people rediscover hiking so the woods are quite full as far as as i have read in the newspaper i haven't seen many through hikers yet but uh, that's what what they say so uh, that's one reason another reason is uh, i don't like to go sweaty stinking dirty into my sleeping bag, so I appreciate a good shower, which is possible 
on an official camping site. There's a toilet. Yeah, if you want, you can eat something. Uh, usually there's a little restaurant or something like that, and it's not expensive. So there's really no reason to stealth camp. Uh, usually camping sites have uh, uh, have a meadow for uh, for hikers where you can put up your tent. So it's almost like in the wild. So I have already done a little bit of filming. Uh, and uh, well, let's have a look at the short video clips. And I wish you a nice and beautiful day. See you later. Are these magic mushrooms, I wonder? <laughs> awesome! That's what I'd call intermarriage. I also found a little pond full of tiny wee tadpoles and extremely tiny wee newts. Very small creatures, very small critters. They are quite late in the year. So let's see, where is a newt? Here. That's a newt wiggling away, and the rest are tadpoles. This was my view at lunchtime, and I took a very pleasant nap here in this shelter. This shelter here even has a bed chair to sleep on. A very romantic view at Castle Baddeneck. Down in the valley, in the center of the village Berneck, I found this pond where I rested in the shade. Along the way I came across this ancient cellar in which old tools are shown to the public. An hour later I had another view at Castle Berneck, but this time from the summit, opposite of the summit where I had been before. Approaching the city of Altensteig, I saw this nice public swimming pool. Shortly after that I reached the campsite, pitched my tent and took place in the beer garden. The beer garden is at a little lake, at a pond, where a very, very cool beer is the right thing to finish a day. <laughs> <laughs> 